So next we will look at the fit to dive process. The fit to dive process is there for diver safety and it involves three different tests. Your online wa or your water fitness test that is completed in the pool by your diving officer and will be updated on the system by your diving officer. You will know that the diving officer has updated this when you see a tick in this box. Your fitness to dive form, which is your annual medical disclaimer, and we will be going through that now shortly. And your medical assessment is your GP medical that you must complete and make sure that your DO is aware that it has been completed. Again, your diving officer will update the system with the new date of your medical disclaimer and you should see a tick here. If the first or the third box are marked as X's, please contact your diving officer. So the last part of the process is the fitness to dive form. So in order to complete that, simply click on annual medical disclaimer. Your annual medical disclaimer is an important document and is there for your safety, so please ensure that you complete it correctly. It is essential that you put in the right uh, details for your GP, including the name, address and phone number. And that is essential because in, or in order for us to contact your GP, we need to have the correct details. Should the incorrect details be filled in here, it, is go it may result in a long delay to processing your online medical disclaimer. So all the questions are set automatically to no. Please read each one carefully and ensure that if you are answering yes to something that you select the yes button. So for example, I will put in that uh, yes to this question. So when I answer yes, you'll see that more drop down boxes come up. So I will fill in the condition when it was diagnosed, what medication I'm on. Please give as much details as you can. The more details that you can give, the quicker your medical disclaimer will go through. The name of the consultant, don't have one, and additional details. So to complete your online medical disclaimer, there are three different confirmations that you need to give. The first one is that you confirm that at your last Diving Medical, your GP certified you fit to dive, and also that you give permission to the CFT Medical Commission to contact your GP should they need to do so. In most cases, the online medical disclaimer will go to automatically. However, they are checked by our Medical Commission and they need permission to contact your GP should they need to do so. The next one is to acknowledge that you've read and understand the diving rules and regulations of CFT. These are laid down for diver safety and are essential for any diver to know. You can simply download a copy of them by clicking on the link. So read them and then acknowledge that you have read them. And again, um, we take child protection very seriously. It is there for the protection of both the diver and anybody under 18. So please again, make sure that you read the child protection policies and click that you've understood them and simply press save. Okay, so it'll thank you for your medical disclaimer. The medical officer is going to review that because I've answered yes to something. Okay, so my fitness to dive form has now been passed by the medical officer and I have emailed uh, my diving officer to ask them to update my medical. So now you can see that my status has turned changed to current and my fitness to dive, my water fitness test is checked, my fitness to dive form is checked and my medical assessment is checked. So I'm already 